because there's no one agency that can make this happen, one agency of government, the only way it can happen is if a consensus is developed among the people in the state that this is the way to go, that the situation is so serious, the need so great, that we have no choice but to change the way we think about things at a very fundamental level. That is not going to happen without a conversation. It would seem to me we'd be better off if we could wipe the slate clean and have an honest conversation among educators where we say, look, we know you want to do the best for the kids. What would you do if you didn't have a high stakes test? And uh, I was in Finland last September and they are a very high achieving system, but they have no high stakes testing. Right. In fact, they don't have any standardized testing. And I said, how do you know how, how schools are doing? And they say, well, we, we have professionals running our schools. We don't have to measure them all the time. I think in Finland, education decision-making is much less politicized than it's here. You know, poli politics is part of education in Finland, but it's uh, nowhere near where it seems to be um, in this country. That is much more based on the professional judgment of all these professionals in the, um, uh, in the system than uh, politicians or policymakers. We're going to move from a model that perfectly served an industrial society to one that now serves this knowledge-based cognitive age. If we're going to change the schools, we're going to change America. And the only way we're going to do that is if we all come together and join in that process. I have a question for you. My question is, what are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to make education a little better? Are you trying to reduce the federal influence in education? Are you trying to give parents more choices? If these things are true, you are probably on the right path. Or are you trying to make the United States competitive with the top performing countries in education. Do you believe, as I do, that if we don't do that, the economy of the United States is going to go to hell in a handbasket? I have a message for you. The policies you are pursuing today will not get you there. They won't even come close to get you there. If you want to go there, why would you not begin by trying to understand how they got there and learn from them.